Oh my gosh, I think you can see my little squirrel, Alvin. Did you guys just see that? Today is going to be a really exciting day because I'm taking you guys to the grand reopening of Relics Marketplace here in Vancouver, Washington. Now, they just moved across the street from their last location, and this location, they have been working so, so hard. I'm so proud of the owners and all of the vendors because I don't know if any of you guys have ever had a vintage mall space before, but it is a lot of work to set up and start from scratch. And I've seen their little teasers on Instagram, so I know it looks good, and I'm really excited to get in there. People are lining up right now. We are just two minutes away from the grand opening. Already seeing some cute little bags here. $18. This one almost looks like it could be a vintage coach one. Let's take a gander inside it. Huh, I don't see the tag inside. That's a really cute one. It's only $18. This one looks so 1970s with the little hand painted flowers on it. And that one is $20. I've been getting really into like 1970s patchwork dresses and skirts. And this pillow kind of reminds me of that. I don't know for sure if it's a vintage. What do you guys think? Do you think that's a vintage one? Kind of looks like it could be. So there are 65 vendors here in this antique mall and they did this entire move in only two and a half weeks, which is just incredible. Because as you can see, they put up real structures to kind of give each of their spaces their own unique design and to kind of highlight their personal style. But that takes a lot of work to do that. Oh my goodness, look at this dresser. Is that painted? Or is this a stencil put on here? Oh, it's some kind of an applique. That is gorgeous. It looks very Art Deco. Let's see how much they've got. $2.99 for that. That looks like something anthropology would have for $1,500. That's really beautiful. Here's another one of these little 70s handbags. This one's got little mushrooms on it. Okay, I might need this one. How much is that? $45. Awesome vintage leather purse. It sure is so cute oh my goodness leave it to courtney at once again vintage to go all out with her space i think i saw on instagram that her dad helped her paint this which i thought was really cute that he's supportive and encouraging her with her vintage space this is so good i really like these tension mid-century pole lamps but the problem is that my house that i'm moving to i don't know what it is yet 
so I don't know how tall it will be, so I'm a little hesitant to buy something like that yet, but I do hope to have some kind of a tension pull lamp when I move. I love that the shape on this hutch here totally matches her whole decor. She's got her style dialed down. I have a friend who just got her very first apartment and she doesn't know it yet, but I'm going to be getting some pieces for her apartment for her. And she sent me some inspiration of what she's really into and she's very into this kind of neutral bohemian with lots of plants. And so I'm gonna be putting together kind of a little apartment housewarming package for her. So I think I'm gonna get a couple of these little plants today. So I just found out from the owner of this booth space that she had a painting that had the cattails like this too, but it already sold. Somebody else showed interest in it right away. But I do think I'm gonna pick this one up. It's $18 and I think that that is so cute. I'm really getting into just simple sculptural type pieces. And I think that is going to photograph beautifully and look great in my shop. Oh my word, look at these adorable little salt and pepper shakers. They're little fish. $12 for the pair. Those are so cute. This pot looks really old. Let's see how much it is. $20. That's a really good size one too. This is a hat I do not think that I could pull off. that this would be really pretty if you put a plant in there too. I think this is going to be perfect for my friend who's getting her first apartment because I know she really loves these rattan pieces and lots of plants and I feel like that would be really cute with a little plant in it. Oh my gosh it's a sea otter eating a shell. So cute. So cute. So I've actually had one of these mirrors before and sold it. And it's not quite what I'm looking for because it's actually made out of a resin composite. But I'm gonna pop in what I'm looking for. I have been hunting for years and I'm still not able to find the perfect mid-century mirror. This is gorgeous. That is a beauty. Yeah. Whoops, it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, just grab what you want and then I'll walk it up there. Pink. Prettiest one. <laughs> yeah, that one's really pretty. Okay, I think I'm gonna go you ahead and get it. Yep, okay. thank you so much. Yeah, of course. I have to show you guys this skirt. I'm not getting it for myself because it is a little bit too long, but check this out. It is like 1970s perfection. And I love that it's a wrap skirt too. I think I'm gonna get this painting. I'm really loving the color palette on it, and I love the ornate wooden frame. They've got $68 on it and it is an original signed oil. And I think that's a really good price for it.
love that. That's so cool. I got it for like a dollar at the Goodwill. Oh my it's goodness. One of my favorite pieces in my house. Yeah, I love this too. And she's like, I love the frame. Do you want to keep it? You can have it back. I know. I had to offer it at least. <laughs> I felt bad. You work so hard to make your spaces look perfect, and then I come in here and just like start taking it out. <laughs> no, I'm excited about my finds. These are really awesome. Yeah. And this little cattail can double as a ring holder, which is kind of fun. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Thank you guys so much. That was as amazing as I had hoped it would be. They have put in so much work into that place and I'm so proud of them. If you are in Vancouver or the Portland area or you're even just coming to visit Portland, definitely add relics to your list of must stop places. I promise it won't disappoint. They currently have 65 vendors in there and they are constantly changing out their stuff and adding new items. And what was really funny was as I was leaving today, I saw a vendor pull up with a truck full of more vintage and I just told myself, get in the car and go home. You already spent enough money. So there's already going to be more new goodies in there for you guys. I got a couple things from one of my favorite vendors in there. I'm going to put her Instagram handle right here for you guys so you can give her a follow. She gets really good stuff in. And I thought this cattail sculpture was really great. It was kind of funny. They ended up putting my ring on the top of it just to hold the ring. And I thought, you know what? There's so many different ways that you could use things. So don't forget to think outside the box. I thought that this one was really sweet. It opens up here and you can take out the bird that's in there. I have a sweet friend who is moving into her first apartment. She's 21 and I know when you're that young and you're getting your first apartment it's hard to find the money to get all of the things that you want for decorating but it's also so exciting because it's your first apartment and you really want to make it your own. She shared with me that she's really into boho design right now so I'm going to put together a little housewarming gift for her and I thought this would be perfect to add in with a few plants. Another thing that would be really pretty to do with something like this is to use all of these little squiggles to hang your earrings or necklaces off of. So I think having something like this hanging by a jewelry display, having beautiful little jewels hanging off it could be really cute too. Speaking of jewels, I got myself a little treat today. So I got this ring because the color in it was just so beautiful and it really matched well with this ring, which is one of my absolute favorites. Something that I do all the time as a reseller is I upgrade. So when you find something that you really like, maybe you get a ring for 10 and it's a really good deal you keep it and then when you find a ring you like better you sell the one that you pay ten dollars for and maybe you can get 50 or 60 for it and then you can use that money to buy the next one and then you wait until you find something that you love more and then you upgrade and you just keep upgrading I've done this with mid-century dressers and I think I went through five goodwill mid-century dressers until I finally found the perfect one that I'm keeping forever and I've also done this with art and I'm really excited about the three pieces of art that I got today this is the one that I got for our home and I've been working really hard to find mid-century art that I like and something that's kind of weird about me because I'm very cheery and I'm a very happy person but I'm very drawn to kind of darker art. I don't know what it is. My favorite art piece in the entire world is by Van Gogh and it's not the colorful Starry Night swirly ones. It's actually the one with the crows and the ox. I first saw it at the Portland Art Museum years ago and fell in love with it and ever since then I've been really drawn to this kind of ominous darkness. I don't know. Maybe it's growing up with my dad, a mortician. I don't know what it is about it, but I definitely love this piece and it is artist signed from 1968. This is by far my favorite piece of the day and I am so glad that I decided to go to Relics for the grand opening because if I hadn't have gone right when they opened, I have a feeling I would have missed out on this beauty. This is by an American artist, Lois Find, and it was done in 1968. It is an etching and it is number two of 30. So when you're looking at these pieces that are signed, the lower the number, the more valuable it is. A lot of her pieces online go from anywhere from $300 to $400. I always pick up still life paintings. I really like this one because it's a bedroom and it's kind of fun when you see these still life paintings and you get to see what the decor was like then. I'm going to assume that this artist painted what they were looking at or at least something really similar so i think that's kind of fun and this one was only twenty dollars i love gallery walls and i always will nothing is ever going to change that but i do think it looks really classy to have art stacked and layered in front of each other on a credenza or a dresser i think it's just a fun way to be able to switch out art easily without fully committing to the gallery wall and these board paintings are perfect for that because there are no heavy frames and they stack so well in front of each other 
it's getting a little bit crowded in here but i really wanted you to see the colors in this one it's hard sometimes when you're in the store to see the true color of things it's always best to get it in natural light where you can really see its authentic coloring but i think that this is a beautiful painting it is artist signed from 1970. a lot of you guys don't know this about me but i actually had an etsy picture frame shop for five years and that was kind of my first dabbling into vintage and it was a really successful shop and it was a really fun time in my life but one thing that i learned during that time was how to ship large picture frames and even though sometimes shipping large pieces might seem a little bit scary i promise you it's not as hard as people think the key is to have the right kind of box to ship it in and to package it really well and i do hope to be doing a resellers kind of guide series coming up soon hopefully by the summer after i get moved and settled in but um i just wanted to tell you guys that you don't be so scared of getting these bigger pieces you'll figure it out and there's lots of other youtubers out there that will give you a lot of their tips on how to ship large pieces that is the thing i think i miss the most about having a vintage mall space is having kind of a curated little space where you can put all of your big beautiful furniture pieces and art pieces together and kind of see how it all comes together a lot of you guys may not know this but i actually had a space at relics marketplace in their first location when they first opened but it was just when i was getting into youtube and i didn't know at the time that i was going to be doing youtube full time and it got so busy for me i wasn't able to maintain the space but i definitely miss it it was so fun to be able to take all of your finds and curate a whole space together and they have the nicest owners and staff so if you are looking to get your first vintage mall space or maybe you just want another one because you have so much stuff definitely check them out all right so if you guys follow me on my blog you already know that i'm obsessed with 1970s fashion right now and i was going to walk away from this skirt because it's a little bit too small for me but i just couldn't do it the fabric was too good the pattern the colors all of it it's so good. I had to give you guys the chance to own this beautiful skirt. I'm gonna put this on my mannequin so you guys can see how amazing this entire skirt is. This is a really high quality, thick velvet skirt. It does not get more 1970s than this. Well, tomorrow is an exciting day because my husband and I are taking a road trip up north. We are headed to Gig Harbor, Washington, and I'm getting something that I've been waiting for five months for. I can't wait to show you guys what it is. Thank you to Relics for having me today, and thanks to you for watching and I will see you guys in a brand new adventure soon.